old Bullock creeping grip they call it crawler 1913 a little story This is a 1918 five-ton armored, uh, it's made by Holt, and this was a bulldozer type track machine for World War I. The main thing this Holt would tow was for artillery, for towing artillery around. And you can see it here, they were towing artillery or soldiers. Uh, there's a picture of it camouflaged. Again, there it is towing a cannon, artillery. And uh, it was made for World War One again. And just gives you a little idea. Oh, we'll slip around and we'll check out the luxurious compartment for the driver. And the driver had his hatchet, his ax, and this to turn it. This for it start it, your spark, your throttle, all that good stuff. And your levers down here and i have no idea what those levers are for and that might not even been to turn it but <laughs> just guessing that's uh obviously you see a track so it's crazy no track machine but uh it's got four cylinder motor in there you can see two banks four plugs check out the belt it's got the big belt that's got the little joint right there where you put them together no v belts on this thing Obviously military green, it's got your your axe. But a pretty neat look. Check out the lights. I love the lights. They're still early, early, like railroad style lanterns. They're old school, that's for sure. And uh, just, you look on, you can't quite see on top, but there's a shovel and some other things up there. And it was made to tow stuff around mostly uh, back in uh, World War I, like through mud, whatever. This old Caterpillar is really cool. It's a Caterpillar 60, and it's 1929 model. It's pretty good size. Uh, it's probably almost D8 size, maybe something just a little bit smaller, but it's got four cylinders. You can see them there. It's got four jugs. One, two, three, four. And it's got spark plugs. So, you know it's gas powered. But and it's got corrugated roof, kind of neat. The big fuel tank, just a big old drum. That's pretty cool. But it's it's very primitive, but very neat. I like it. Uh, you can see how it's it's riveted together like a ship. See the rivets? It's not bolted. It's got rivets and bolts. But I see a lot of rivets in there, so it reminds me of the old uh, 20s construction, like for a ship. And again, you can see the rivets on a tank, holding it together, that old caterpillar. It's got a cantilever, it's got a pivot right there. And somehow it uh, lifts and lowers that blade here in the back. And I think somebody made a change because I'm seeing a hydraulic cylinder right there. And I'm guessing that didn't have hydraulic back in 1929. I'm guessing that was probably cable operated somehow, but I might be wrong. But it's still really cool. See this old 1929 Caterpillar. We'll slip around the side here. Try to climb up to where the, you can see what the drivers got for all of his levers oil and uh put his lever here to turn something here and honestly i have no idea how they will operate these so i'm just pointing at the levers <laughs> if, you, if you're watching this you know how they run them you can kind of explain it in the comments but it's still pretty neat we got a 60 caterpillar here actually running you can check it out see what they sound like we saw the one earlier with the blade on it you pull graders and things with this. Right. Yeah, that's pretty neat. You can see the big flywheel there in the center. Spinning around. Kind of crazy, it's right out in the open. 
with all the safety stuff these days. Maybe I kind of see the levers to make this thing work. It looks like the steering wheels, those two things up there, the steering wheel. So he's steering with that, the two levers on the top. These probably are like brakes maybe for turning extra fast. There he goes, he's turning the one. And he's turning to the right. So you can see those, those must be how you steer it. Now I learned a little bit more. Now I know how to steer an old caterpillar. Caterpillar here. And it's a little two-ton, number two. And it's actually, looks like it's got four cylinders though. Or is that five? That's odd. <laughs> and then we got a number 30 cat. And that's a 1930. We saw that a big uh, 60 outside. Nice little crawler there. And we got a gate Bates steel mule beside it. And again, it's the 1930s and 35. And then we got International Harvester. We haven't seen much of their stuff yet, but it's McCormick Deering International Harvester. We got a little 1949 TD6 crawler, little International Harvester. Little dozer, that guy's a little bitty guy. Nice little caterpillar here. And it's got cable driven still. It's still got the old cables on it. It's pretty high. My dad and uncle had a setup similar to this when I was really young. Had a D9, that's a D7 cat. It was just a little bit, bit probably a bit bigger than that. With a pan behind it. Really similar to that. They got some other earthworking or earth dragging material moving vehicles. This one here has a, a side that will tip. So. Then they got, that's Alex Chalmers. Of course, he'll scrape the dirt up here. The 1960s Alice Chalmers. Another 1960s Trex. Caterpillars. Wow. About 50 percent bigger than the last two we walked past. And I'm guessing these are probably uh, a fair bit newer. And then once we get past these great big caterpillars, we'll go back to time a lot. But uh, actually, these are both uh, 1960s, the same as those first ones. Caterpillars are just big, but see this little galleon over here? <laughs> it's a powered grader. It's grading. We've got a bulldozer up there on top. Another grader, 1920s. That's a 1920 Baker scraper. And it's all mechanical. You can see where the guy rode on back. And it's going to be dragging a second wheeled scraper. So you can get a little bit deeper. And then behind these two scrapers, is an old uh, grader. That's really neat. All the mechanical parts on it. It's a 1929. It's a Galleon Works as well. Number 10. We've got Dallas Chalmers sitting here side by side now. The old uh, HD6 diesel. The old uh, grader. Italian grader back over beside this great big caterpillar scraper at 631B. That thing's a monster. Yeah, little, little guy and big guy right there behind him. We got this little bitty, I don't even know what it is yet. I'll have to read the back of it. The other one was a big old caterpillar. I guess it, the other one was a D7. That's a 1947 Detroit, Detroit Tractor Company. Real 
pretty guy. Look how big the V7 cat. That's fairly new. It's got hydraulics on the front. We got a little uh, 1920s. They call it a road patrol portal. I uh, call it a grader. And uh, right next to it's another Alex Chalmers. This is a 1937 and it's a little bitty caterpillar. Pretty neat, got a nice heavy duty roller behind it. And of course we don't want to leave out uh, IH, Farmall, but McCormick Deering. Uh, they also made uh, road con or construction equipment. Pretty neat. It's uh, got a gallium frame under it. This guy is pretty famous in the road construction, in the construction business. That was in 1937 back there. This one here is the 1920s. This is a pull behind. That previous one was a drag or driven. This pull behind job. And I like these pull behind ones because there's so much mechanical stuff on them. You can see these wheels up here for running the steer, for the run your blade back and forth and the steer. You can see it comes comes down here to this gear through that knuckle and just uh then we got elevation controls for your blade so these are your elevation this is for your tipping and of course you're going to go wherever this horse or tractor or whatever is pulling this thing's going and then you can also skew the back with that lever right there there's a rack and pinion down inside there. We'll walk around behind so you can see the back of this. There you can just kind of see the some more controls here. A lot of uh, a lot of adjustment so you can get that road grade just perfect. So we got two great big uh, post hole diggers. I guess you could put telephone poles in, or uh, I don't know if you can bury wells with these things. Uh, I imagine there's a lot of general purpose use that has to do with drilling holes. With these two, we got one that's hooked up to a, a caterpillar, and then we got one that's actually hooked up to an old, uh, uh, I guess maybe it's an old Dodge, but uh, it looks like an old military truck. I'll walk up and get a closer look at it so I can get you the good information on uh, what got a motor on it that runs this uh, Hugh William Hugh Williams auger and let's just check out and see what kind of truck we got here That's Memphis Enterprise Army so I'm guessing it's like an old power wagon type Dodge truck here. And the other one was a Caterpillar. And it's got the big cable on the front. Then we got a little baby Caterpillar. A little D2. And we've got another grader, a driven one. We've got dual wheels on the back. 1937 to 30s was the transition on the graders from being pulled to being driven. Are a little bit more crude you can see how they've got parts of both still on them in the 20s they were being pulled and then by the 40s probably world war ii time they were all being driven but they look a lot more like they look more like this what we're used to seeing here's another grader and we got a little uh, shovel up here. Guess what? It's Alice Chalmers. All oh, these Alice Chalmers here. An HD5. We got a little mixed Michigan loader over there. And then we got a military dozer back here. Pretty. Another Alice Chalmers. Uh, we got a grader here. And. This one is just from so far away. It's just from uh, Sullivan, Ohio, but uh, it's a 1955, and I just never realized how much stuff that Alice Chalm was made back in the day. Just I always saw just the farm equipment, but they make a lot of electric or a lot of uh, 
construction equipment, so it surprises me. And then here's a nice little uh, 1949 uh, D4 cat dozer with a little pan behind it. This is a really nice little guy. Nice small size. There goes my friends in their old, old Rio. Nice little set up here. We got number one Buckeye ditching machine. They call it a trencher. And uh, the reason this catches my eyes because I think we had one almost the same thing when I was a little kid. Except we changed the motor out on something a little bit more modern. But uh, it looked just like this with all these gears and levers and chains and stuff everywhere. My cousin uh, David did kick out of this one. Dave Jones. I mean, it's got so much stuff going on. Look at all these levers. I'll swing back here so you can see all these levers. And there's, there's a lever. Right. Right here, lever, 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 lever. There's more levers. There's more things sticking up than a porcupine. I, I don't remember how my, parents, my dad and my uncle ever ran these things, but with all those levers. The only thing I see that makes sense is a steering wheel. Everything else is levers. And chains and sprockets. Levers, chains, and sprockets everywhere. Easy to lose a finger or a arm or a hand on something like this.